The Sabbatians or Sabbatians were a variety of followers of disciples and believers in Sabbatai Zevi (1626–1676), a Jewish rabbi who was proclaimed to be the Jewish Messiah in 1665 by Nathan of Gaza. Vast numbers of Jews in the Jewish diaspora accepted his claims, even after he became a Jewish apostate with his conversion to Islam in 1666. Sabbatai Zevi's followers, both during his messiahship and after his conversion to Islam, are known as Sabbatians. They can be grouped into three Mominim believers, Habarim associates, and Baal Milhama warriors. Part of the Sabbatians lived on until well into the 20th century as Donma. Sabbatians who remained Jews In Jewish history many Jews after Sabbatai Zevi's apostasy, although horrified, clung to the belief that Zvi could still be regarded as the true Jewish Messiah. They constituted the largest number of Sabbatians during the 17th and 18th centuries. By the 19th century Jewish Sabbatians had been reduced to small groups of hidden followers who feared being discovered for their beliefs that were deemed to be entirely heretical and antithetical to classical Judaism. These very Jews fell under the category of sectarian Sabbatians which was born when many Sabbatians refused to accept that Zavi's apostasy might have been indicative of the fact that their faith was genuinely an illusion. Another large group of Sabbatians succeeding the apostasy began to view Islam in an extremely negative light. Polemics against Islam erupted directly after Zavi's conversion. Some of these attacks were considered part of a largely anti-Sabbatian agenda. Accusations coming from anti-Sabbatians revolved around the idea that Sabbatai Zavi's conversion to Islam was rightfully an indicator of a false claim of messianism. <laughs> Sabbatai Zevi's conversion to Islam Jewish historians have stated that it is hard to describe the national sense of shock and trauma that set in when the masses of Jews all over the world learned that someone as famous as Sabbatai Zevi had officially abandoned his faith for Islam. However, the fact remains that Zevi is the most famous Jew to have become a Muslim, which is also what the term Sabbatian has come to denote. Many within Zevi's inner circle followed him into Islam, including his wife Sarah and most of his closest relatives and friends. Nathan of Gaza, the scholar closest to Zevi, who had caused Zevi to reveal his messiahship and in turn became his prophet, never followed his master into Islam but remained a Jew, albeit excommunicated by his Jewish brethren. <laughs> Sabbatian, Sufi similarities Claims of ties between Sabbatian Kabbalah and Sufism go back to the days of Sabbatai Zevi, too this is largely based on the contention that Zevi's exile in the Balkans brought him into close contact with several forms of unorthodox Sufism which existed in the region. The Donme community of Salonika came to play a significant role in the Sufi life of the region and its members actively involved with a number of Sufi orders, particularly the Mevlevi. Some alleged similarities between Donme and unorthodox Sufi practice seem to exist, including the violation of kashrut, halal, sexual license, ecstatic singing, mystical interpretations of sacred scripture, and the practice of ritual meals. However, confirmed direct ties between Sabbatai Zevi and any Sufi order are conjectural and hearsay. The often claimed connection between the movement and Bektashi Sufism relies merely on circumstantial evidence and coincidence rather than any concrete substantiation. During Zevi's lifetime the Bektashi order had yet to attain widespread popularity in the Balkans, it came to dominate southern Albania only in the late 19th century. Nevertheless, there were a number of other heterodox Sufi movements in the region in the mid-17th century, including the Hamzavis, Melamis and Kalanders. The Donme Inside the Ottoman Empire, those followers of Zevi who had converted to Islam but who secretly continued Jewish observances and Brit Mila became known as the Donme Turkish, Donme Convert. <laughs> Sabbatian-related controversies in Jewish history the Emden Abishitz controversy 
The Emden Abishitz controversy was a serious rabbinical disputation with wider political ramifications in Europe that followed the accusations by Rabbi Jacob Emden (1697–1776), who was a fierce opponent of the Sabbateans, against Rabbi Jonathan Abishitz (1690–1764), whom he accused of being a secret Sabbatean. The Emden Abishitz controversy arose concerning the amulets which Emden suspected Abishitz of issuing. It was alleged that these amulets recognized the messianic claims of Sabbatai Zevi. Emden then accused Abishitz of heresy. Emden was known for his attacks directed against the adherents, or those he supposed to be adherents, of Sabbatai Zevi. In Emden's eyes, Abishitz was a convicted Sabbatean. The controversy lasted several years, continuing even after Abishitz's death. Emden's assertion of heresy was chiefly based on the interpretation of some amulets prepared by Abishitz, in which Emden professed to see Sabbatean illusions. Hostilities began before Abishitz left Prague, when Abishitz was named chief rabbi of the three communities of Altona, Hamburg, and Wandsbeck. The controversy reached the stage of intense and bitter antagonism. Emden maintained that he was at first prevented by threats from publishing anything against Abishitz. He solemnly declared in his synagogue the writer of the amulets to be a Sabbathian heretic and deserving of cherim excommunication. The majority of the rabbis in Poland, Moravia, and Bohemia, as well as the leaders of the three communities, supported Abishitz. The accusation was utterly incredible. In 1725, Abishitz was among the Prague rabbis who excommunicated the Sabbatean sect. Others suggest that the rabbis issued this ruling because they feared the repercussions if their leading figure was found to be a Sabbatean. The controversy was a momentous incident in Jewish history of the period, involving both Rabbi Yeshekel Landau and the Vilna Gaon, and may be credited with having crushed the lingering belief in Sabbatai current even in some Orthodox circles. In 1760 the quarrel broke out once more when some Sabbatean elements were discovered among the students of Abishitz Yeshiva. At the same time his younger son, Wolf, presented himself as a Sabbatean prophet, with the result that the Yeshiva was closed. <laughs> <laughs> Sabbateans and early Hasidism Some scholars see seeds of the Hasidic movement within the Sabbatean movement. When Hasidism began to spread its influence, a serious schism evolved between the Hasidic and non-Hasidic Jews. The Hasidim dubbed any Jews who rejected the Hasidic movement as misnagdom, opponents. Critics of Hasidic Judaism expressed concern that Hasidism might become a messianic sect as had occurred among the followers of both Sabbatai Zevi and Jacob Frank. However the Baal Shem Tov, the founder of Hasidism, came at a time when the Jewish masses of Eastern Europe were reeling in bewilderment and disappointment engendered by the two Jewish false messiahs Sabbatai Zevi and Jacob Frank in particular. <laughs> Sabbatians and modern secularism Some scholars have noted that the Sabbatean movement in general fostered and connected well with the principles of modern secularism. Related to this is the drive of the Donma in Turkey for secularizing their society just as European Jews promoted the values of Age of Enlightenment and its Jewish equivalent the Haskala. <laughs> Disillusioned Jewish Sabbateans Sabbatai's conversion to Islam was extremely disheartening for the world's Jewish communities. Among the masses of the people the greatest confusion reigned. In addition to the misery and disappointment from within, Muslims and Christians jeered at and scorned the credulous and duped Jews. In spite of Sabbatai's apostasy, many of his adherents still tenaciously clung to him, claiming that his conversion was a part of the messianic scheme. This belief was further upheld and strengthened by the likes of Nathan of Gaza and Samuel Primo, who were interested in maintaining the movement. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Rabbis who opposed the Sabbateans. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Joseph Escapa. Rabbi Joseph Escapa (1572–1662) was especially known for having been the teacher of Zevi and for having afterward excommunicated him. Topic: Aaron Lapapa. Rabbi Aaron Lapapa (1590–1674) was the rabbi at Smyrna in 1665 when Zevi's movement was at its height there. 
He was one of the few rabbis who had the courage to oppose the false prophet and excommunicate him. Zevi and his adherents retorted by deposing him and forcing him to leave the city, and his office was given to his colleague, Chaim ben Venisti, at that time one of Sabbatai's followers. After Sabbatai's conversion to Islam, Lepapa seems to have been reinstated. <laughs> Jacob Haggis Rabbi Jacob Haggis was one of Zevi's chief opponents, who put him under the ban. About 1673 Haggis went to Constantinople to publish his Lehem Ha Panem, but he died there before this was accomplished. This book, as well as many others of his, was lost. <laughs> Moses Haggis Rabbi Moses Haggis was born in Jerusalem and waged a campaign against Sabbatean emissaries during 1725–1726. <inaudible> Jacob ben Aaron Sasportas Rabbi Jacob ben Aaron Sasportas was one of the fiercest opponents of the Sabbatean movement. He wrote many letters to various communities in Europe, Asia, and Africa, exhorting them to unmask the impostors and to warn the people against them. He documented his struggle in his book Zitzit Novel Tzvi, the title being based on Isaiah chapter 28 verse 4. He wrote a number of works, such as Toledo Yaakov an index of biblical passages found in the Haggadah of the Jerusalem Talmud, similar to Aaron Pissarro's Toledo Aharon, which relates to the Babylonian Talmud only, and Ohel Yaakov a volume of Halachic responsa, which includes polemical correspondence against Zevi and his followers. <laughs> David Nieto Rabbi David Nieto was the haham of the Spanish and Portuguese Jewish community in London. He waged war untiringly on the Sabbateans, which he regarded as dangerous to the best interests of Judaism, and in this connection wrote his Esh Dat against Nehemiah Hayyan, who supported Zevi. Tzvi Ashkenazi Rabbi Tzvi Ashkenazi (1656–1718), known as the Kakam Tzvi, for some time Rabbi of Amsterdam, was a resolute opponent of the followers of Sabbatai Zevi. In Salonika, he also witnessed the impact of the Sabbatai Zevi movement on the community, and this experience became a determining factor in his whole career. His son Jacob Emden served as rabbi in Emden and followed in his father's footsteps in combating the Sabbatian movement. Jacob Emden Rabbi Jacob Emden was Talmudic scholar and leading opponent of the Sebastians. He is best known as the opponent of Rabbi Jonathan Abishitz whom he accused of being a Sabbatean during the emden abishitz controversy. Naphtali Cohen Rabbi Naphtali Cohen was a Kabbalist who was tricked into giving an approbation to a book by the Sabbatean Nehemiah Hayyan. Provided with this and with other recommendations secured in the same way, Hayyan traveled throughout Moravia and Silesia, propagating everywhere his Sabbatean teachings. Cohen soon discovered his mistake, and endeavored, without success, to recover his approbation, although he did not as yet realize the full import of the book. It was in 1713, while Cohen was staying at Breslau where he acted as a rabbi until 1716, that Haham Tzvi Ashkenazi of Amsterdam informed him of its tenets. Cohen thereupon acted rigorously. He launched a ban against the author and his book, and became one of the most zealous supporters of Haham Tzvi in his campaign against Hayyan. See also Islam and Judaism Jews in apostasy List of Messiah claimants Messianism Schisms among the Jews References Further reading 
Senghis Sisman, The Burden of Silence, Sabatai Sevi and the Evolution of the Ottoman Turkish Donmas, New York, Oxford University Press, 2015. The Collection of the Words of the Lord, by Sabatian leader Jacob Frank, edited, translated, annotated, and with an introduction by Harris Lenowitz. The Donmas, Crypto Jews under Turkish rule. The Donma, True Believers, Jewish Heretics or Untrustworthy Muslim Converts. Globalization, Cosmopolitanism, and the Donme in Ottoman Salonika and Turkish Istanbul. A Messianic Epiphany, The Conversion of the Donme Sabatians. The History of Naming the Ottoman, Turkish Sabbatians. By Cengiz Sisman, in Studies on Istanbul and Beyond Ed., by Robert G. Ousterhout, Philly, UPenn Press, 2007.